but we'll, you know, obviously disappointing result. Disappointing is to ship eight goals in the second half. How did you see it? Oh, look, I mean, there's no other word than disappointing for that second half. But, um, I mean, at the start of the game, you know, you, you lost your coach midweek. Um, asked the boys to put their effort in, play as a team. That first 45 structure defensively was really good. You know, obviously I thought, you know, Bobo did get that goal and I thought we could easily have come in nil all. But, you know, we wanted to look at a bit more possession in the uh, front third. So we tried to look at a bit more of a press in that first 20 minutes of the second half. Obviously backfired a little bit in terms of losing our structure. But yeah, certainly disappointing. Where did it all go wrong in that second half? Ah, uh, look, I think there's a lot of work we need to do in terms of keeping possession. Um, but I think it's just that, that structure within the guys and just getting that team um, working together is a big thing for us, keeping the ball. You've conceded a few goals two weeks in a row now in the second half. Is it a fitness thing? Or? Look, I think um, there's certainly an aspect of that um, and certainly you know, mentality is also, comes into it as well with you know, being a bit down and losing your coach and yeah, certainly fitness um, you know, it also does get a bit harder when you're down and you're 60 minutes in, certainly. Yeah, that's fine. How's the search for the coach going? Oh, look, um, we do have some um, options that we're looking at at the moment. Um, obviously, nothing we can announce at the moment, but we're certainly looking to um, someone who can come in and take the boys on and get that team structure going. In that first half, you seemed to look to play it out from the back a bit more. Was that a bit more of a focus during the week? Yeah, look, um, so during the week, you know, we've got to focus on possession. We really wanted to make sure that we tried to keep it, um, get the ball and that way we can get the ball in a bit more um, deeper positions with a bit more threat, threats because, you know, last week I think we had a, many shots on goals. Um, you know, obviously late we did get a few shots on but nothing really of, of, of danger but um, certainly you know, we want to start playing it out. And look, they did make mistakes but um, the intent was there and that, that's what we're looking for. And, you know, the guys showed spirit. Um, obviously, it's hard in that second half, but um, look, there are some positives we can take out of it and we'll certainly work on the, the negatives over the week. Happy with the result, Glenn? Oh, happy with the second half. I wasn't so happy at half-time. Uh, I think failing to capitalise on our possession was a real uh, problem for us in that first half and, and really uh, losing the ball in wide areas, not whipping crosses in, not getting strikes on goal, uh, all... Uh, you know, that was all a bit of a concern in the first half. Obviously, second half, uh, we changed a couple of things and, and certainly uh, we were a bit more ruthless in front of goals. I think I was saying upstairs during the first half that I thought Sharuma was really wasteful with the opportunities he had in the uh, first half and then next thing you know, he comes out in the second half and couldn't do a thing wrong. Yeah, quite amazing. I was uh, Look, we, we did uh, pop Lawrence out uh, on wide right uh, in that second half. And I think it made a bit of a difference. Gives him a bit more time, and, and uh, uh, you know he's very good in one-on-one -on -one situations. So uh, look, he, he ended up having a very good game. Um, but certainly there was a concern across. Not wasn't any one specific player, but across the uh, the group that we just weren't ruthless around the 18-yard box. Um, Hickey and Mearns didn't play. Where were they? Uh, Mearns has a hip flexor uh, issue, so uh, we thought best to sit him out. Uh, for, the, for the long term season that we have uh, ahead of us. Shay's at a wedding in Melbourne, so um, uh, he couldn't be here. Is it a relief to get that first win of the season out of the way? Oh, it is a little bit, yeah. Um, obviously, at, at uh, half time, 1 uh, 0 up when we had that much possession, uh, it, was, uh, you know, it was really concerning. But look, at the end of the day, uh, great to get the three points and, uh, and, and a bunch of goals as well. I thought um, Bellini played really well today. Um, will we start next week? Uh, well, we'll look at it uh, during this week's training and, uh, and see how we go, but certainly he's a, he's a big talent. Uh, he's only 16 years old, I think, so you know he's got a big future ahead of him, I, I believe, and, and um, had a super game today. But there was, I think there was a number of decent players, especially in that second half. Mm. Um, you know, right across the board, there was a lot of winners. What was the main message at halftime? <laughs> Uh, to stop losing possession in wide areas, um, get the early cross in, and uh, to back yourself and be more ruthless around the goal. Uh, that was pretty much the, the, the big message. Um, and obviously uh, it must have hit home because we were much better in the second half. One thing that I noticed was that you took a lot of short corners. Is that something 
that you practiced during the week because it didn't really seem to be paying off too much? It wasn't very effective. <laughs> yeah, that was talked about at half time as well. Um, look, we, we don't, I'd watched Kingborough a couple of times and uh, we, we worked out they only send one player out when there's uh, a short corner. So, you know, in 2v1, you always back yourself, but you've got to get the ball into the danger zone. And uh, when you're losing it again in wide areas, it was no good to us.